Today I'm gonna to be designing modern logos so that they look vintage. If you're new here, I'm Tyler, AKA Tyler Talk, and on this channel I design, redesign, critique, do all kinds of things with logos, so if you're into design, then definitely subscribe. Now, you might notice that I'm wearing some new merchandise. I have a series on my channel where I redesign logos using Comic Sans fonts, so I decided to make a design around the idea that Comic Sans can be cool. I actually designed this in Illustrator and Procreate, and I love how intricate and detailed the back is, and just how simple and fun the front is, having the word cool in Comic Sans. So if you like it, I will link to the store in the description. We have shirts, hoodies, bucket hats, tote bags, stickers, all kinds of things with this design on it. So check it out if you're interested. Now, for this video, I decided to do four modern logos and give them a vintage look. Last time I did this, I threw in a couple that were more like 90s designs, but this one, I wanted to stick to more like 70s and even further back to see what these logos would look like before the internet. So today, the ones we're gonna be redesigning are YouTube, Starbucks, MTV, and Tesla. I actually redesigned Tesla in a vintage style in a previous video, but I really, looking back on it, did not like it. So this is kind of a redemption story for that one. So I'm gonna start with YouTube. And when I was researching for this, I found that a lot of vintage logos used arrows in the design. Like kind of like, come in, we're open. And I definitely knew that I wanted to keep the play button somewhere in there. So my initial idea was to kind of take the play button triangle and incorporate it into an arrow. So first I got to work finding a font. If you have the Adobe Suite, I would definitely recommend using Adobe Fonts because they have so many different categories to look at. And once you log into your account, you can actually just toggle the fonts on and off and they automatically will appear in your Illustrator, Photoshop, Premiere, whatever you're using. So for this one, I knew I wanted a bolder font. So I decided to look in the Art Deco category and I ended up finding this great one called Casablanca URW. So after toggling it on, I opened Illustrator and typed out YouTube in that bold font. I love how on this one, all of the letters are kind of condensed, but the O is a perfect circle. I just love that. I picked up an initial color, wanting to keep the red from the original logo, but go with a more burnt 70s red instead of a bright one. So then I just duplicated one of the T's so that I would have the exact width of the font and manipulated it so that it would look like the Y was an extended bar like all the way across the word. I connected those using the Shape Builder tool and I made a play button that I turned yellow. I was really loving how this was looking, but it did look a little top heavy to me. So I played around a bit with moving some of the letters down toward the end to make the triangle fit a little bit better. And I added another bar beneath the whole word YouTube. I went back and forth on this, but decided just to move the E down at the end of the day. And I was really loving how this looked, but I wanted one last thing to make it look a little bit more vintage and what's more retro than a drop shadow. So I played around just a bit with the colors and finally I landed on this. I am really happy with how this one turned out. I'm definitely seeing that 70s vibe here and it kind of reminds me of a logo that you would see on the back of like an old van or even like a bumper sticker on a car in the 70s. Either way, it turned out a lot better than I was even envisioning in my head. And I think this would be cool if YouTube were to launch some kind of like retro merch with a fake vintage logo. I would love to see something like this. Up next, I'm doing Starbucks. And for this one, I kind of wanted to go with a vintage 50s diner slash cafe feel. For the fonts, I wanted Starbucks to be in a kind of script font. And I wanted to include the word cafe in it to really give it that old timey feel. So I actually found this one called emo type kitten that I thought would work perfectly for the script part of the logo. I actually made these logos while on a live stream and one of my subscribers suggested using a font called Betty Noir and that worked perfectly for the word cafe. On that note, I do go live once a week, usually on Wednesdays. And if you wanna have your suggestions used in a future video, definitely drop into one of those lives and say, hey. Now, I know back then they had a lot of overlapping shapes and colors. So I created these two shapes using the pen tool. And then I made the edges way less sharp and made them different shades of green, different sizes, just to kind of contrast those two shapes. Initially, I thought I would give the words a color, but I really liked how Starbucks looked in black when I typed it all out on this lime green. I made cafe white and I thought about doing a black stroke on that one as well. 
But then I decided to actually make it the dark green from the background so that it kind of looked like it was built into behind it and was kind of popping up through the front green one. And I really am happy with that choice. So finally, I thought it would be cool to incorporate stars somewhere on it since the word star is in the name. And because a lot of old hotel logos when I was looking at this have stars on it to, to say that they're like a five-star hotel. So I decided to do three at the top and someone suggested rounding out the corners a little bit to make the stars a little less harsh but I felt like it needed five stars to make it complete. So I put two more at the bottom and here is that logo all finished. I really feel like this one feels the oldest, most vintage of the bunch today. But in the end, it ended up being one of my favorites for sure. Can't you just see yourself being in a vintage cafe or diner and a waitress comes up to you wearing an apron and a visor that has this logo on it? For MTV, I really knew that I wanted to play with this bold, playful, scripted font and give it that kind of 70s black outline and drop shadow, almost like you would see on an old baseball jersey or something like that. So I hunted down a font and landed on one called Kestrel Script. So to give all of it that black stroke, I had to make them all one shape with the Shape Builder tool. I also made the fill of it be closer to like an off-white instead of just white. And I used the Warp tool to give it a little bit of rise. And then I needed to make the shadow. So to do this, I duplicated the shape, but made the fill be black. Then I duplicated that one and I made it offset. And I put both of those under the initial shape. I then selected both of those black shapes and I went to object, blend, blend options, and turned it to specified steps. And I made that a really high number and then I hit make. So basically what that does is it makes a ton of tiny duplicates between the shapes and it gives it a drop shadow without those hard lines like you see in the YouTube one. It's a perfect seamless shadow from one shape to the other. Initially, I was gonna do a TV behind the letters, but someone in the chat suggested doing a vinyl record. So I created that using circles and worked on the placement. And then I decided to make that in pink and blue. And I made these little triangular shapes in white to look like highlights. And I placed three of them around the record. And here is the final result. I love how this one looks too. I know I'm saying that for all of them, but it's true. I know MTV has been around since the 80s, but I think if they were around more in the 60s, 70s, I'm thinking kind of like Hairspray, how they had that afternoon dance variety show. This looks like a logo that you might see on a TV back then. I also know I say this every time too, but I would really like this design on a shirt, but unfortunately there are copyright laws. Okay, this is our last one for today. It's Tesla and we are giving it its redemption arc. So when I was looking up a logo for this one, I realized that their actual name is Tesla Motors, which to me evokes the sense of like an old auto body shop. And it got me thinking about all these vintage logo signs that I still see up all around LA that include a lot of Starburst and fun colors. And I actually ended up doing some research on this kind of design. And it turns out it's actually a design style from between the 40s and the 60s, and it was called Atomic Age. So I wanted to make the background be this big teal Starburst. So I made some star shapes with the shape tool and I played around with the sizing to form this really big Starburst shape. I kind of wanted to mimic the Starbucks one and do Tesla in a scripted font and the rest in a different font that I could find. So I actually found this one called Scriptorama Trade Show for the word Tesla. And I typed it out and I made it this hot reddish pink color. And I was gonna give it a black stroke again, but then I decided to go with a white one because I feel like that made it look a little bit more seamless from the background. I then searched the funky category of fonts on Adobe and I found this awesome one called custard for the motors part. I typed that out and I made these rectangles with red outlines around each letter. Then I made the spacing staggered until I was happy with the placement of all of them. And once I looked at it, the whole thing looked a little bit bare. So I decided to give the Starburst some little dots in it to hint that there's kind of like light bulbs. And I changed the color last minute to this more greenish teal. And finally, I was happy to call it done. This one really looks like something that you would see on TV for what they thought <laughs> the future of logos would look like. And I absolutely love it. It isn't too often that I walk away at the end of one of these videos actually really loving every detail of everything I created 
needed, but I have to say I really do for these. It's really hard, but if I had to pick a favorite, I actually think I would go with the Tesla Motors one. Mostly just because it's really fun and playful, yet it looks like it could actually have been a real logo back in the day. Well, that is it for today's video. If you can pick a favorite logo, definitely let me know which one it is in the comments. And if you have any other ideas for which modern logos I can turn vintage in the future, definitely let me know that as well. Again, the t-shirts are linked in the description. And if you like this video, go ahead and give it a like, subscribe to the channel and hit that bell so you'll be notified every time I post a new video. Thank you for watching.